Right now at 5, a La Crosse reconstruction project is complete. Find out how it's improving US 14 and South Avenue. And investigators detail how a man got past security and allegedly threatened people on a La Crosse plane. You're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. The man who drove through a La Crosse airport gate and boarded a plane is back in court today. 31-year-old Cody Anderson is accused of trespassing on airport property and illegally boarding a plane. The investigator who questioned the flight crew about the incident testified at today's hearing. According to the investigator, an airport employee gave Anderson the initial access to the plane, thinking he was a member of the plane's flight flight crew. Anderson went on to the plane, then returned to the building shortly afterwards. When Anderson attempted to return to the plane, he was not let through. The flight crew says he was acting confused and unsure of where he was. Anderson was escorted from the building after he tried to smoke inside. It was then that Anderson got in his car and drove through the gate. After circling the plane several times and threatening another staff member with a knife, Anderson boarded the plane and closed the door. Please Police arrived shortly after. After police got the doors back open, Anderson began shouting that he had explosives and other weapons on board. After about 45 minutes, police were able to arrest Anderson. He will be back in court tomorrow for his arraignment. Local lawmakers want more Wisconsinites to have access to Badger Care. This morning, they promoted a bill to expand the program during a visit to St. Clair Health Mission in La Crosse. The plan would open up Badger Care beyond just Medicaid expansion. More working families could qualify, those earning up to $60,000 a year. Higher income people could buy in at a cost. Small employers could also purchase Badger Care for workers at lower rates than private insurance. Supporters say it would make health care more affordable, reduce costs, and help small businesses, calling it the most comprehensive health care reform proposed in Wisconsin in over a decade. Um, this is something that people want in Wisconsin. This is something people need in Wisconsin. And it's long past time for the state government to address this like so many other states have. According to bill sponsor Representative Jill Billings, 95% of costs paid would be by the federal government through Medicaid money that Wisconsin is not currently using. But the Republican-controlled legislature has resisted Medicaid expansion in the past. Depending on how you travel in the city of La Crosse, you might have another reason to be thankful. After a year of construction, the Wisconsin Department of Transportation says the U.S. 14th South Avenue reconstruction project is complete. And today a ribbon cutting was held at the Hmong Cultural Center to celebrate the completion. Our own Jeremy Wall joins us live in studio with the latest. Jeremy. Ken and Emily, the wait is over with some safety improvements for both drivers and pedestrians. WizDOT says the headache of traveling along Highway 14 is now a thing of the past. Today, Mayor, Mayor Reynolds joined Senator Brad Path and WizDOT Secretary Craig Thompson for the ribbon cutting of the US 14 and South Avenue project. In addition to increased lighting and pedestrian crossings, the 16.5 million dollar project removes left-hand turn curbs in favor of three new roundabouts at West Avenue, 16th Street and Ward Avenue. Senator Brad Path says what decision was about safety or says why the decision was about safety. When you make left turns, obviously, with a lot of traffic that can cause uh, or lead to a greater traffic uh, accident. Obviously, roundabouts uh, provide uh, uh, opportunities for us to have less accidents, but at the same time, we have to learn the process of roundabouts as well. According to WISDOT, the majority of funding for the project comes from the Highway Safety Improvement Program path as that the investment in South Avenue will continue to move lacrosse fo forward by strengthening our infrastructure and growing economy. PAP also says collaboration between local government, the state, and WISDOT played a big role in getting this project done quickly. Ken and Emily? All right, Jeremy, thanks very much. And the Wisconsin Department of Transportation is working on other local projects, including resurfacing Highway 35 between La Crosse and Prairie du Chien. Okay, well, it was 
a pretty gloomy one outside today. Yeah, what I, from what I saw from out my window, um, <laughs> a more uh, stereotypical kind of fall yeah. day. <laughs> it was. I mean, the temperature was a little bit warmer than average, but yeah, we had the cloud cover. We had some sprinkles or some uh, rain or show, snow showers actually further south. But overall, it was pretty cloudy day for most of the area. We do have a couple systems that are impacting the area, but overall, temperature is still not too bad for this time of year in the 40s. Overall, really, what you see on radar, a lot of it's not reaching the ground. But as you go further south towards south central Wisconsin, they've got a little bit of light rain right now falling. We actually have two systems right now looking at a one a cold front to the north that's progressing digging southeast but we have a much larger system to the south is beginning to pull northeastward and is wrapping around light rain or even moderate rain into southern Wisconsin that may actually touch some of the southern areas of our viewing area tonight but overall we might see a sprinkle or shower but temperatures like I said, upper 30s to mid 40s overall, very typical over this time of year. Even behind the cold front, that colder air is not too bad, even 50 degrees still in Grand Forks. So overall this evening, the cloud cover will be the main start. We might see a sprinkle or something like that over the cross areas. We get down to 41 degrees. Once again, rain chance will be fairly low up to Eau Claire, even lower, but actually we'll see that going up into the upper 30s too. The rain chance actually is better as you go further south towards Richland County, Crawford counties. But otherwise, we'll break down later in the forecast that turkey forecast. We get closer to the day of Thanksgiving. It's going to be a drastic change with the temperature. I'll break all that down a bit later in the broadcast. All right. Thank, Thank you, Greg. Thanks, Greg. Helping the unhoused community get the hygiene products they need. That's the goal of the menstrual product donation drive on UWL's campus. Period at UWL is the group behind the drive. The student-run organization focuses on improving access to period care products through outreach and fundraising. They plan on giving the donations to Lacrosse's YWCA Reach Center. That way they can be distributed directly to the community, members that need them the most. YWCA's housing director says many people don't think about how expensive period products can be. It's hard. It costs a lot of money to get menstrual products and to have what you need to be able to um, take care of yourself um, when you're unhoused. Today is the first day of the drive. It runs until December 18th. The group is accepting any and all period products that come in a sealed wrapper. You can drop off donations at UWL Student Union. You can also go directly to reach with your donation. Well, could you run for 24 hours in a row? Me, no. absolutely not. <laughs> but two men are certainly going to try. Jake Smith and Nate Kemper are working together to raise awareness and money to combat sex trafficking out in Nepal. Both are pastors at local churches, and they are partnering with Venter.org for this fundraiser. So the two started running at 10 a.m. this morning and don't plan on stopping until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Smith says the run is all about helping others. In the end, that's what it's about, uh, is helping as many people as possible. But I think we both like the physical challenge. And last year we ran the Grand Canyon together and we learned that we, uh, we suffer well together. So we're looking <laughs> forward to this new test to see uh, what it's like in those dark, long hours throughout the night. Smith says the goal is to run at least 80 miles. You can track their progress and donate to their cause on the Venture Miles app. We'll have more information on our digital platforms. Well, no thank you, but good for them. <laughs> the holiday spirit is alive at Wafer Food Pantry. Students from Aquinas Middle School delivered a big donation this morning. The kids stuffed a bus full of nearly 1,000 pounds of food collected in their week-long drive. School counselor Tanya Vaughn says the drive is a way to show students the need in their community. Students were able to collect 994 pounds of donations. One middle schooler says the choice to help with the fundraiser is an easy one to make. Because it's just a good thing to do. Like, you can't just like ignore everything. So there are people out there who need food, and so we, people who have food, can bring some, and it's just a good thing to do, I guess. To celebrate a successful Stuff the Bus, the middle schoolers will spend their morning watching a movie. Elon Musk coming under new scrutiny for messages on his social media platform X. Following a post last Wednesday which claimed Jewish communities are spreading hatred against whites, Musk replied to his 163 million followers, quote, you have said the actual truth, leading to lawmakers in Washington blasting him. We'll be taking action with colleagues this week um, to write to him, to ask him to uh, renounce those comments and to clean up his act. 
Giant advertisers are suspending their ads on X, including Disney, IBM, Apple, Comcast, Lionsgate, and Paramount, the parent company of CBS News. Last week, the White House responded to the post, saying they strongly condemned the promotion of anti-Semitism and racism, even as the administration maintains contracts with Musk's SpaceX company for satellite technology. Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, who announced his campaign for president on the platform, declined to denounce Musk Sunday, saying he had not seen the comments. Yesterday, Musk denied claims that he is anti-Semitic, posting nothing could be further from the truth. A dozen premature babies are now getting treatment safely away from the Israel-Hamas war zone, but a larger hostage deal still up in the air. Plus, U.S. officials pledge support for Ukraine, but the money behind that support is stalled in Congress. The latest after the break. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Wow. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now get a 2023 Ford F-150 XLT with 3.9% financing for 60 months, plus with a 3,500 in total savings, only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Attention, have you or a loved one been seriously, ah, forget that. Let's do this Nicolay Law style and give the people what they want. It's Nicolay! Discover Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls. Grab your friends and play for the day, or two, or three. It's time for you to win, laugh, and enjoy. Over 650 slot machines, tables, bingo, great rewards, delicious food. Ho-Chunk Gaming, just what you need. Get out again and experience the difference at Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls. This holiday season, Blaine's Farm and Fleet is where wishes come true for everyone, especially during our pre-Black Friday sale. Start saving early with Black Friday-like deals throughout the store. Like over 70% off this Rubbermaid food storage set, just $9.99. 40-pound bags of Blaine's Wild Bird Food, sale priced at $15.99. And save $100 on this DeWalt two-tool combo kit. Plus, get a free Blaine's Toyland truck with every $60 toy purchase. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. The Treehouse, treasures from the heart. The Treehouse gift in home on Alaska. Escape, relax, browse in our 10,000 square foot gift shop. Shop thousands of gift ideas and allow our trusted professionals to help you breathe new decorative life into your favorite holiday spaces. Come make shopping local a family tradition and spin the new prize wheel during our Black Friday sale, Friday through Saturday, November 24th through the 25th. May God bless you and your family this holiday season. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. In a show of support for Ukraine, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin made an unannounced visit to Kyiv today. Austin met with Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky and promised that the United States and other allies will continue helping the country defend itself as the war with Russia drags on. This president is uh, United States of America is with you. He will remain with you uh, through, uh, for the long haul. Uh, what happens here in Ukraine, that not only matters to Ukraine, but it matters to the rest of the world. It certainly matters to the United States of America. And then the visit comes as the Biden administration's request for more U.S. military aid to Ukraine has stalled in Congress. The White, has, the White House says it believes a deal is closer to free hostages currently being held by Hamas. And multiple sources telling CBS News a deal would likely include the release of 50 hostages. In an exchange, Israel would pause the fighting and allow more humanitarian aid into Gaza. Today, Israel intercepts rockets over Tel Aviv and continues airstrikes on what it says are Hamas targets in southern Gaza. Meanwhile, a humanitarian development in Egypt. Premature Palestinian babies evacuated from a Gaza hospital now receiving treatment. They are now receiving antibiotics. Uh, they are now receiving oxygen. They are now being rewarmed. Health officials say it will take a long time for many of the infants to recover. 
Coming up at shore now, that will pay off later. Experts say now's the time to put in some work for a perfect lawn next spring. Although we're going to see colder temperatures for Thanksgiving, it's definitely not going to be bad for travel day Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll break down what those temperatures look like, how cold we'll get for Thanksgiving, and then if we'll see any rain or snow for the holiday weekend. All that coming up on your first foreign weather update after the break. Save on big projects. Menard's 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Don't miss out. Make over your laundry room. Save 11% on Criterion Appliances. Transform your home with 11% off new Mastercraft doors. Build your dream bathroom and save 11% on luxury tubs and showers. Or go even bigger and get 11% off a new garage. Don't miss out. There's no limit to what you can save. Menard's 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Save big money at Menard's. 30 years ago, it was my job to convince people to buy overpriced stuff they couldn't afford, they didn't want, and they didn't even need. Well, after doing that for two years, I decided people need to be informed, not convinced. So don't you think it's time to discover Firefighters Credit Union where you can be informed and not convinced? Cause everybody's welcome to Firefighters Credit Union. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra, it's the truck. Or just announced just in time for Black Friday. Get 4,000 purchase cash on select 2023 Sierra models. That's 8% below MSRP. Stella Jones Corporation in Bangor has immediate openings and wants you to apply. They say this job takes grit, attention to detail, and ability to work as a team. Stella Jones Corporation is where safety matters and wages sustain a comfortable living. If you have what it takes and can stand behind our railroads, then we want you to apply today. $2,500 hiring bonus. We've got you. It's a pledge to make sure you're always taken care of. A pledge that your Touchstone Energy Cooperative honors each and every day. When it comes to keeping things running smoothly or getting them back on track when they're not, we've got you. Always. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks for watching. Have you ever heard the saying summer bodies are made in the winter? Well, lawn care experts say now is the time to tend to your yards if you want to get them to be green in the spring and summer. Now, cold temperatures, fallen leaves, and lack of maintenance can cost you hundreds of dollars to fix down the road. The crews at Virginia Green say basic maintenance over the cooler months can be vital for a healthy lawn. Wintry weather causes grass roots to freeze, creating a barrier that prevents the roots from absorbing more moisture. And that's why experts recommend watering your lawn well after Thanksgiving if possible. When the sprinklers aren't on, you should break out the rake or leaf blower. Research shows fallen leaves can damage grass by blocking out sunlight. Wet, soggy leaves can also smother and kill plants. If you don't have a lot of time for your lawn care, experts say there are two things you should prioritize. Watering and mowing. You know, those two things are the backbone of having a great yard. Lawn care experts say as temperatures drop, remember to drain your sprinkler system to avoid frozen and burst irrigation pipes. Those lead to costly repairs. They also recommend shutting down water to outside faucets to avoid other damage as well. Well, now we're going to send it over to Greg to see if we have any wind in our future that's <laughs> going to contribute to any, any more leaf raking. Well, no, we don't have too much wind. We have some tomorrow, but the good, th the other thing that we're dealing, with, kind of dealing with, is a dry November. I think Eau Claire's on pace to be maybe one of the driest, and we've only had about a trace in La Crosse. So definitely start watering grass if you can, because we have been fairly dry this month. But if you're looking at travel-wise for the next several days, obviously big travel day Wednesday, and obviously before over Thanksgiving, we're actually not looking too bad for the country-wise. We have a system that's going to push northeast by Wednesday, but by Thanksgiving, most of the country is going to be fairly good, except for the Intermountain West towards Denver. 
river. They're going to have a system that's going to stay well to our south, produce snowfall down there, but it should impact really anything up our direction or further east. And even beyond this weekend, the system's pretty far south. So overall, pretty good travel days once we get past Tuesday and maybe even Wednesday for the northeast. So if you got plans, you should be fairly good too. What we're going to see tonight really is once again that front to the north and we have a system to the south. So as we time out, not a lot of precipitation if you're really uh, north of La Crosse. We'll see a little bit south of La Crosse once that pushes east. By the time you wake up and tomorrow, we'll see more sun as the system pushes east and this cold front kind of scoots east too. We'll see northeast northwest wind, so it will be a little bit breezy as we go in the afternoon, and there will be more sun. That's the good news once again, but still off and on clouds throughout the afternoon with that northwest breeze. It'll keep temperatures kind of where we should be. We'll start seeing clearing skies as we go out till tomorrow evening, which means we'll have more sun going into Wednesday. A big picture shows here's that low that's wrapped up for the east. That's going to push out of the, uh, and you look downstream. There's not much going on all the way through Wednesday and Thursday. Here's a little cold front that will come through. That's the one that actually will give us our cold temps going into Thanksgiving. But as you see, not much in the way of moisture. So we're not expecting much in the way of any snowfall with that. But it definitely will be colder with a stiff northwest wind behind it. So that's why the temperatures are going to start plummeting. For the next really several days after Thanksgiving, we're going to keep the same pattern. But we might have a few fronts come down. You can see here comes one again for Saturday into Sunday. Once again, maybe some light precipitation, but a lot of this probably won't reach the ground. There's a lot of, as we go through, there's will be another one coming Monday into Tuesday. The big story with that, we won't see a lot of snow. If we get some any of those days, it'll be very light. The thing is, it's just going to reinforce that cold air or chilly air that we're going to have throughout the period. And really, if you look at the temperatures, we're going to be below average. It's not going to be real far below average, but we're going to see a lot of that blue show up. And by the time we get to next weekend, you don't see a lot. And you'd be like, why don't we see a lot of blue? Well, that's because our average temp is getting into the upper 30s. So by that point, upper 30s are going to be quite average, but we're not going to get out of that. But for tonight, really, so excuse me, for tomorrow we're looking at mid 40s, pretty typical temperatures. Once again, more sun, but still some clouds in the afternoon with the northwest wind. Maybe upper 40s as you go further south. And as we go north of La Crosse, we're looking at 45 in Blair, a few degrees above average with off and on sunshine, and even getting up to the 40s as you go further north. So as we look at the eight day forecast, you see the temperatures actually boost up a little bit for Wednesday before the front comes through. And then we have a chilly Thanksgiving. I wouldn't consider it cold, but beyond that, you see our temperatures pretty much stay in the upper 30s. But the good news is it's dry right now. Yeah. It's fairly dry. Once again, we'll keep an eye on those fronts coming through, but right now I think travel wise it looks fairly good. Yeah, and overall it looks sunny. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Yep. <laughs> All right, Greg, thanks very much. When we come back, two birds that don't have to sweat it this holiday season. A presidential pardon for two Minnesota turkeys ahead of Thanksgiving. Next. Attention seniors, be safe with your affordable tub to shower conversion or enjoy an all new bathroom. Contact the four store home improvements today for a prompt free estimate. High quality at lower prices. Winter is here. And with winter weather come accidents and mishaps. Whether you're on your way to work, walking the dog, or out on the trail, accidents can happen. At By Golf and Rody, we help you get the settlement you deserve to put your life back on track. While there are many unexpected factors that can affect the next growing season, farmers have grown to expect the expected with Rink Seed. Our consistent top-end yields come from strict quality control, trusted technology, and local dealers invested in your success. Rink Seed has been a family-owned and operated business since 1846. More than 175 years later, we still have the highest performing genetics on the market in all environments. Rink Seed. This year, let Ford make the holidays bright. Go over any type of terrain with Ford Bronco Sport. Hey, Dad. How's the weather? All good. And the Ford Explorer with available seating for seven. And with power on demand in the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning, well, that's how Ford is making the holidays bright. Now, get 2.9% financing for 66 months, plus $17.50 flex buy cash on select Ford SUVs, only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. With By Goff and Rody, you don't just get a lawyer, you get the experience and power of our entire team of lawyers, paralegals, legal assistants, and researchers. By Goff and Rody, 
Wisconsin's personal injury law firm for over 50 years. Join the conversation at facebook.com slash news8000. Or you can always find us at news8000.com. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. President Biden carried out a White House tradition on his 81st birthday, pardoning two turkeys ahead of Thanksgiving. The president spared Liberty and Bell from the dinner table Monday during a ceremony on the South Lawn of the White House. The birds from Minnesota were named after the historic Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. And President Biden says the pair now has a new appreciation for the words, let freedom ring. <laughs> I hereby pardon Liberty and Bell. We can all give thanks to the gift that is our nation. And let's remember, we are the United States of America, and there is nothing, 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 I mean this sincerely, nothing beyond our capacity when we work together. This was the 76th turkey pardoning at the White House. Liberty and Bell will live out the rest of their lives at the University of Minnesota College of Food, Agriculture, and Natural Resource Sciences. All right, well, safe. Good for them. Right? Don't have to sweat it anymore. They're, they're safe. They <laughs> I wonder what safe. they're going to have for Thanksgiving dinner now, now that <laughs> right. they're pardoned. Yeah, right. Hey, Greg's going to have one more check of your forecast right after this. However you do the holidays, do it together in the Chevy that's right for you. The strong and capable Chevy Silverado, the award-winning Chevy Equinox, or the all-new Chevy Trax. This holiday season, do more together in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups, or current Chevy owners can use red tag bonus cash to get 3250 total cash allowance on this Silverado. Chevrolet, together let's drive. It's easy to see when you have a plumbing problem, but when it comes to your water, things aren't always so clear. Without water conditioning, your water may be doing more harm than good. Hard water can damage your pipes and appliances, leave spotting on dishes, as well as dry out your skin and hair. Contact the professionals at Maxwell White. More than a plumbing company, we offer comprehensive water conditioning. That's two great services under one roof. Enjoy cleaner dishes, softer and brighter clothes, and much more with a simple call to Maxwell White. Water conditioning done right. The shape of the gift gave it away. That didn't matter. This gift would open doors. The gift of music. For beginners to the musically inclined, Lighthold Music has your instrument. Put a piano in that stocking or slide a guitar under the tree. Keep it local. Shop downtown at Lighthold Music. Bring music into your home. Make it a part of their life. Everybody has an instrument. Yours is at Lighthold Music. A lifetime of pleasure, satisfaction, and fun. Lighthold Music. The robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving, but it's nice to be recognized. BMO. I did know that back pain, foot pain, come along with the job of waiting tables. This is Tony. Things that I've tried have failed. And this is Tony's good feet story. Before my arch supports, I felt defeated. But since getting the arch supports from the good feet store, I have had no pain, which still is kind of crazy to me. I'm more positive. It's like opening up a whole new life, like sunshine coming up. I would recommend it to anyone. You've tried everything that's not working. Give it a try. See how we can help you, too, at the good feet store. All right, we'll have some cloudy conditions. Light rain or light snow, better shot as you go in southwest Wisconsin, less as you go further north, but still we'll have cloud cover. And then tomorrow we're looking at, once again, pretty seasonal conditions, uh, breezy out of the northwest, more sun, and Wednesday looks good for travel. And then we drop the temperatures into the 30s, which is chilly. By the time we get to next week, you know, upper 30s is average, so it won't be as chilly. But the good news is dry, but we could see some light snow off and on, maybe throughout the next eight days, but overall travel in Texas. That's good it's going to be right a cozy there. Thanksgiving. It Everyone will be. Thanks, thanks for joining us tonight at 5. We'll see you at 6.